Hey, you join me, Jay, here with um, one of the Fuge Heads. I'm Jeff. Jeff from the Fuge that's Heads. It. I'm sorry, I've That's fine, there. that's alright. Um, so, doing Kendall, beautiful Kendall. See, I've been to this festival before. Uh, what was your first festival like? The first one we ever did? Um, it was absolutely horrible. I remember we uh, we got on the V Festival. And we turned up and we didn't have any gear that worked. We drove ourselves there in a car. We didn't have any crew. We didn't know where to go. And when we got on stage, um, our leads wouldn't reach from the mics to the amps. So we had to like, it was a nightmare. We had to move all the back line forward. It was like a logistical nightmare. But, you know. Was it a good show in the end? No, well, not because it was too stressful. So it was hard. But uh, yeah, it got gradually better since then. Thanks. You prepared for today then? Oh, yeah. Prepared for today. Rocked up early. Have you got, got any, our own um, gear. Have you got any surprises for the show? Maybe just put a little song on. Uh, no, I mean it's going to be like our traditional festival set, you know, we've got farms worth of material to pick through so we'll do, all the, we'll do a lot of singles and stuff like that festivals and try and get the crowd going a bit. But, yeah, you know, you've just got to kind of what lay it down fast and furious. Um, Hans and Love always goes down really well at the festival. Um, Singing language. Yeah, beginning of the twist, heartbeat song. You know, the, the, the most popular singles are the best of festivals, definitely. Okay. How long did it take to you just uh, release a new album? Um, how long did it take to create that album? Um, it took about a year um, in very small stages because our drummer Dave's just had a baby. Um, not himself. Not himself, I know, it's not like Junior. Um, yeah, his girlfriend had a baby and then, so he's been very busy doing that and we were trying to be understanding with that and also not a fourth record, so I think we want to just ease off a bit, you know, and make sure it was right. You think you take a back seat for now then, just keep touring this album for a bit more? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to probably do another year. I think we might do an like, acapella album next year, and then do a little tour of that. So, remix album. Yeah, why not? Special re-release, like ten, tenth anniversary. Tenth anniversary, <laughs> indeed. There you go. You know your stuff. Um, so, what type of music do you like yourself then at the moment? Um, I haven't actually got any new bands for a while now. Um, I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of ACDC. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't know. Once you've gone back in black, you'll never go back. <laughs> As they always say. Um, do you usually tend to go to gigs now, or since been touring constantly, just say, I'm not going to go? Yeah, I don't go to many gigs. It's, uh, it's just Only if like an older band that I really like tour, or a friend's band, or someone who's been recommended. So I would never just go yeah. on spec. Alright, fair enough. Thanks a lot for talking to us today. No bother. Please,